My name is Jorge Castillo. I'm the team captain for MIT Driverless. My name is Kylie Ying. I am a MEng electrical engineering and computer science student at MIT. So MIT Driverless is a team of students based at MIT that develops uh, autonomous race cars. And we compete in some of the most cutting edge autonomous race car competitions in the world. We've worked both on developing vehicles as well as developing the driver itself, which is uh, the mind uh, driving self, self-driving cars. So our vision at MIT Driverless is to become the center for applied autonomy at MIT. There are so many centers at MIT working on cutting edge research, um, working on, on you know, solving some of the most complex problems in the world. But we think it is equally important to have a place at MIT that is training the engineers that will go, will go to the autonomous vehicle, to the robotic and to the tech industries tomorrow. As an undergrad, one of the things that I had always felt like I missed out on were these cool technology applications that teams are doing that I didn't really have a chance to do. I was coding from home and you know things were getting a little bit monotonous, but then I got an email from MIT Driverless talking about all these opportunities. Couldn't sleep for a couple of days. I was super excited and you know, I just I, I, I kind of knew in my head then that I wanted to come back for a master's and do MIT driverless. So we are currently racing in two uh, competitions. First one is called Robo Race. So Robo Race is a championship series. That means that you have multiple events, uh, multiple races throughout the year. All teams get the same vehicle. Uh, so it's essentially like a super fast electric vehicle. Each of each team puts their own driver into the car. And then we need to complete six laps around the track at the fastest speed we can. Um, the cool thing about it is that not only do you have to do the fastest lap um, and the minimum, the minimum time, but you also need to interact with what they call the metaverse, augmented reality generated um, obstacles and collectibles. It's like real life racing mixed with like video games in a way. 